G Suite is not just a powerful business email provider. G Suite is actually an all-in-one business productivity and communication hub that has all the tools and apps you need for your small business. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here today, my name's Stuart. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through a G Suite tutorial for beginners and share with you how you can get started and make the most out of G Suite for your small business. G Suite is an essential all-in-one business hub for every small business that's serious about wanting to maximize productivity, communication, project management, and other areas of business performance. Today, I'll help you get started and cover everything you need to know to maximize G Suite in 2020. Now, before we get into it, and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with new and actionable videos and tutorials designed to help your small business thrive online. And with that said, let's jump into G Suite. Okay, so here we are at gsuite.google.com and this is where you can sign up to get started with G Suite. Now, if you've never used G Suite before and you're a complete beginner, this tutorial is for you. What you can do is actually start a 14-day free trial so you can understand what G Suite is all about, look at all the different apps and tools that you can use for your small business and decide whether or not this business hub is going to work for your small business. Now, the first thing we want to do is look at what's in included in G Suite, then we're going to talk about the pricing and then after that we're going to guide you through the initial process of actually setting up G Suite for your small business and then we're going to talk about some of the basic features and kind of elements within G Suite that you need to understand to really make the most out of G Suite when you first get started. So if we navigate over to what's included, as you can see within G Suite you have a whole bunch of applications, business applications that you can use to essentially help your business with productivity, enhance communication, and also other areas of business performance. Now, one of the main reasons why small businesses choose to go with G Suite is because you have access to a custom business email. Now, when you connect your domain name, you can actually create as many custom email addresses as you like. Whereas if you sign up to a free Gmail, you don't have access to a custom email and your emails have at gmail.com. However, with G Suite, you can customize your email the way that you like. Now, next to that, we have Google Meet, which is a video and voice conferencing tool, which is great for interacting with clients, interacting with your team, and it's free to use. And this is a great alternative to Skype and Zoom, and that comes with G Suite. Now, it also actually comes with uh, all Gmail users, and actually those that don't even have a Gmail account can access Google Meet for now as one of the initiatives that Google has pushed to try and help support local and small businesses. Then what we have is access to chat, so messaging for teams within your organization. We have calendar, Google Drive, which is cloud storage and has 30 gigabytes of storage for the basic plan. And you can upgrade this and expand uh, your cloud storage, the memory when you like. Now, Google Drive is a great place to store business information from documents, sheets, uh, reports, images, videos, whatever you can think of, you can upload to the cloud storage to your Google Drive. Now, like I said, you have 30 gigabytes um, if you create additional Gmail accounts for your team within G Suite, then they'll have an additional 30 gigabytes of storage. Now, this is a great place to essentially enhance productivity with your team and also to send documents and sheets that your team or your clients can collaborate on together all in one place, which is Drive, Google Drive. Now, within Google Drive, we have Word documents for you to collaborate with your team or customers. Now, the great thing about all these Google applications, all these tools, is people can edit them. So you can add your team to each of the documents, each of the folders, and you can actually engage and interact and work on projects together in real time. So we have Google Docs and we have Google Sheets, which is similar to Google Docs. However, it's spreadsheets that you can create, share, and collaborate on. Then we have Slides. So 
Google Slides, you can create a presentation that you can share with your team or your customers. You can also download all these documents in different formats. Now we also have a form builder which allows you to create surveys. Then we also have a website builder called Google Sites. Now this is great for small businesses that don't currently have a comprehensive website up online. You can actually create your own website with Google Sites. And again, what I'll do is I'll pop a link above which will take you to a tutorial on how you can build a website with Google Sites with this application here. And then we have other applications over here, but these are the main applications you're going to use within your business that are going to help enhance productivity, communication, and other areas of business performance. Now, if we exit out of this one and then we navigate over to pricing. Now here we are at the G Suite pricing. Now you can get started for free and you have a 14 day free trial. Now I recommend getting started with the basic plan. It has everything you need for your small business, especially to get started. And as your business expands, you can expand to the business subscription and later on down the track enterprise. Now if we navigate over to basic, we can see all the different applications that are included within G Suite. Now you also have security and management, so you have support if anything goes wrong and that's essentially everything we wanted to cover before we get started and show you how to set up your G Suite account so remember after your 14 day free trial you can sign up with the basic subscription through G Suite and that's going to get you started with all the tools and applications you need for your business so now that we've covered all this let's get started with the free trial and guide you through the initial setup of your G Suite account so in order to do this all we need to do is is navigate down here and click start free trial or navigate over to the top right hand side and click start free trial here okay now to set up your business account through G Suite what we need to do is enter our business name here so for the purpose of this tutorial we're gonna call our business tip top roofing then select the number of employees we're gonna select two to nine and come down here and select the country that you're in so for us we're in New Zealand so we're going to select New Zealand and then come down here and click next. Now here what you want to do is add the contact information of the G Suite account admin. Now if you're not the account admin or you don't want to manage the G Suite account, then that's completely fine. You can add your information here and you can link someone else to be the admin within your organization later on. So for now we'll just set up one email account. You will be the admin but we can change this later on. And then once you've added your first name, your surname, and you've added your current email address that you've been using for business, come down here and select next. Now, G Suite will ask if you already have a business domain. So you'll need a domain such as example.com or yourbusiness.com to set up an email and a G Suite account for business. So another example of this is, well, for our business, our business is called Top Tip Roofing. So our domain name would be toptiproofing.com or .co.nz because we're based in New Zealand. So that's completely up to you. Now if you've already bought a domain name from another provider, then come down here and select I have a domain. You don't already have a domain, then come down here and select I'd like to buy a domain. Or if you want to quickly create your G Suite account, you can come over here and click I'd like a free dot page domain. And this is going to be a non-custom domain name for now and you can set this up later. But I would recommend you start by either purchasing a domain name if you don't already have one or select I have a domain if you've already bought one. Now most businesses already have a website, they already have a domain name. So if you do come over here and click I have a domain and now what G Suite will do is guide you through the process of connecting your G Suite account with your domain which is being held with another provider. Now there are hundreds of different domain providers and so each process is slightly different when it comes to connecting your domain and G Suite. So once you've selected one of these options come down here and select next. So for us now what we want to do is add our business domain name here because we've already got one. And as you can see for the purpose of this tutorial we have added our domain name in here. So enter your domain name and then come down and click next. Then G Suite will ask if you want to use this domain to set up your account. So I'm happy with this domain here and I'm going to select next. 
Then come down here and click OK or No Thank You. Depending if you want to receive tips, offers and announcements from Google, I recommend you do because there might be things you miss or changes to your G Suite account that you want to stay updated with. So select OK. Now here what you want to do is add a username and password so you can access your G Suite account. So this is your username and password. So for example, if I was creating a username for myself, this was my email within my business and my business was stuartgold.com, then I would enter Stuart as my username or I could add info or sales or I could even add contact. So it's up to you what you want to add your username as. Uh, so for me, I'm just going to go Stuart for now. I know it doesn't really make sense, Stuart at StuartGold.com, uh, but that's what I'm going to add for the purpose of this tutorial. Now come down here and add a password. And then come down here and click I'm not a robot and select agree and continue. And congratulations, you have just created your G Suite account. Now the next step is extremely important, it's vital for getting your Gmail to work. So now that we've created your G Suite account, you have access to all the apps we talked about in the beginning. But now what we want to do is make sure that we've connected our G Suite account with our domain name. Remember we selected that we already had a domain name with another provider. Now what we need to do is connect that domain with G Suite. So we can start sending emails with the email that we just created for Gmail. So again, G Suite will walk you through this process. So come down here and click go to setup. So as you can see, we have completed the initial setup of our business account with G Suite. Now we want to manage our team and we want to add other individuals to our team. Now you can skip this process, but for now come across here and click start. And here what we want to do is add your users. So give them access to your G Suite account. So you can add up to 10 users below. So think about people within your organization. So for now, I'm going to add one other person within my organization and I'm going to add their information here. Now this is a fake name. This is just for the purpose of this tutorial. So I've added Gary Smith as the individual, the name, last name. And then over here is sales. So remember you can change that to info uh, sales, so I've added sales, you can actually have their name as well like I did previously, I had Stuart at StuartGold.com but I'm going to add Gary as sales at StuartGold.com and then I'm going to come down here and click add. Now you can come down here and add other users if you like, I'm happy with the two users here, so I'm going to come down here and select I added all the user email addresses currently using at StuartGold.com and then come over here and click next. Now here what you want to do is notify your team that you've created a new email for them. So what you can do is add their email address here, the email address that they're currently using and then add a private message down here if you like. And that's going to send all the information for them to uh, create their password and log into their own G Suite account. So very straightforward, add the email address of the people you've just added to your organization. And then when you're ready to notify your team, come down here and select send emails. Now here I'm not going to guide you through this process because Google does a fantastic job to essentially guide you through what you need to do to verify your domain and set up your email, which was the vital uh, step so you can start using your Gmail account and start sending and receiving emails with your new custom business email. So to do that, follow these instructions down here after you've completed each step and then follow the next few steps. And once you've completed all of these steps, then you just need to be patient and give G Suite about 24 to 48 hours for it to verify the connection between your domain and G Suite. Now this can take up to 72 hours depending on your domain host settings. Now if you have any issues with this process, what you can do is get in touch with your domain provider and they will do this for you. They can help guide you through this process. And all you need to do once you've completed the setup is click verify domain and email. Now once this verification process is complete, you'll be able to head over to your admin account. Now your admin account is where you can manage other users, you can add delete users, you can create aliases, you can do all sorts in terms of permissions within your G Suite account and within your organization. So what we're going to do is head over to our already complete account and guide you through the admin account so you understand how to make the most of the back end. 
And like I said before, you will be able to access your admin account once this verification process has been complete. And remember, if you need any support with the verification process, reach out to your domain provider, as every domain provider has a slightly different backend and process. Okay, now the easiest way to access your G Suite admin is to log into your new Gmail account. Now, once you've logged into your new Gmail account, all you need to do is navigate over to Google Apps up on the right-hand side, and then navigate down and locate your admin. Now, as you can see, I have the admin here. Now, before I click here, as you can see, we also have access to all the apps that we discussed at the very beginning. We've got our Drive, Slides, Google Meet, Chat, Sheets, and other apps that we can use whenever we like, YouTube, Google Ads, so we can connect these apps to our business when we're ready to use them. So this is the easiest way to access all your applications within G Suite, is to simply log into your Gmail and access your apps through your Gmail account. So what we're gonna do is navigate down to our admin, and here we are at your G Suite admin account. Now, you are the only one that has permission to access your admin, and this is where you can control everyone's uh, emails, everyone's G Suite accounts that you've created within your organization. So remember, we've only created one other user, but if you wanted to create another user, you can do that here. You can create users, you can manage those users, you can delete those users that you've created. You can also create groups and then down here is where you can assign admin roles so for example if you're not the admin and you want to assign the role of admin and they can manage this for you then you can come down here and select manage administrative roles and you can assign permissions to individual users and over here we have our billing this is where you can add your payment information if you decide to continue using G Suite after the 14 day free trial and you can choose to jump onto the basic or business plan and then we have support down here so if you have any issues related to your G Suite account you can reach out to the team and they're happy to help you out and guide you through the back end if you have any questions if there's an issue you want to resolve in regards to your G Suite account. So very straightforward, this was an introduction to G Suite. There's a lot more behind the scenes and there's a lot more advanced information to cover, but in this tutorial, we're just gonna cover the basics so you have an idea of what G Suite is and how you can make the most of it within your organization. And there we have it guys, that is it for this G Suite tutorial for beginners. You should now have a good idea of how you can use G Suite for your small business in 2020. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this entire video. If you got value from it, you found it useful, then please leave a like down below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.